Well, we are your local election headquarters. The state Republican female lawmakers announcing their priorities for the session today. And they call the legislative package the big dream or the dream big initiative. KRK Force Jesse Tenor is live at the state capitol with the five issues it would tackle. Jesse? Yeah, Ashley and Bob, these 21 women make up the new Arkansas legislature's Republican Women's Caucus. They represent every corner of the state, and they say so do their priorities. These are red issues. These are blue issues. These are issues for all our Kansans. The first, education, would require all school districts to implement a literacy plan. Reading leads to learning. Learning leads to opportunity. The second issue, juvenile justice reform, would focus on finding alternatives to incarceration in treatment centers for low-risk youth. And better equip the system to meet the needs in the state's youth care, their families, and the judicial system. The third piece of legislation would repeal the state's municipal broadband prohibition, allowing cities and counties to partner with any broadband provider of their choice. Arkansas is a leader in access to high-speed broadband for our school districts. We lead the nation in computer science education, but our children need to be able to do homework at home. The fourth issue, child care access, would encourage entrepreneurs to open daycares by guiding them through the regulations and helping them find funding via the Department of Human Services website. We have areas in our state where moms would like to go to work, but they don't have a place where they could take their child that they feel good with that's going to provide good quality care. The final piece of legislation would support UAMS's push to be designated as a National Cancer Institute. By setting up a funding mechanism to cover the 10 to 20 million in annual recurring costs. This will give so many of our citizens an option rarely available to them now, and it will increase their chances of survival. Now, their legislative package coincides with a fellow Republican's session priorities, Governor Asa Hutchinson. The UMS chancellor said that if the legislature can get that funding for the National Cancer Institute designation, he did commit to the governor that he will get that application in within his next term, which is in these next four years. Live at the state capitol, I'm Jesse Tenor. All right, Jesse, thanks very much.